Hello everybody, welcome to Garnish First, new cooking series that we're going to do, and I'm here with my Zeus chef, Jason. <laughs> this beautiful hunk of man, I can't ever do anything without him. Anyway, I'm your chef, Cameron, today, and today we're going to be making some spaghetti. Here's all of our ingredients. Vital, vital key opponent right here. Vital key opponent right here. Okay, they need the, need the, need the marbles. For the first key ingredient of the spaghetti, you need to get boiling water. We have a nice 15 gallon, 10, 15, yeah, 10 to 15 gallon tank of water, fresh fist, great protein. All right, we can cut this part out. Yeah. Oh well. So now, you get to make sure you got the water in the oven on ready to go, and then uh, we, we get our salt. Jason, or my Zeus chef, if you want to add the salt. Tell me one. Add the bone. Bring them on. Keep going. Go, go. Let me see that there smile. <laughs> Our next key part while your water's boiling, gotta get the meat going. Jason, can you prepare a quarter pound of that meat for me? <laughs> How much? Let's put that out. How much? Hmm? How much? A quarter pound. <laughs> No, no, you don't put any more. We're fine. We're just <laughs> chasing the weight. It's not a pound, but that's fine. Um, Probably yeah, it's uh, close. Uh, and uh, then we need uh, oil. For the spaghetti, we gotta use the good old. This is hoisin sauce. <laughs> Go, that's fine. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta improvise with what you got. This hasn't been open, we can't do that. <laughs> okay, you know what? Wait, it's fine, that's actually better. First you gotta open your hoisin sauce. You get your good old cheese grater with the rubber spatula end. I'm just going to mix your meat. Hey, I don't pay you to laugh, camera guy. You gotta, like, focus. Get in this. Do we need a season? More, more salt. More salt. More salt. Now the next final step is you gotta get the aromas kind of going. So we got a full thing of onion here. Jason, if you can prep the onion for me. Oh, actually, before, good chef always tastes his food. <laughs> good chef before adding the new ingredient always tastes their food beforehand. Go. Oh, and you're gonna put the whole onion in the boil. Oh, ah, I hit my foot! So as you can see, add the whole onion to the water. Over here, all onion to the water, and then you gotta add the meat after it's been cooked. You gotta make sure all of it is ready to go. 
Get in there, Dallas. I'm recording the floor. You know? <laughs> See, looking tasty. The next vital step, now that the water's hot and steamy, so it's boiling, we gotta add the spaghetti. We got good old veggie spaghetti, because we're trying to be healthy here. And so, I'll leave it to my sous chef, Jason. You go ahead and add the spaghetti. Okay, we'll Any comments, Chef Jason? I think we need to add sauce at some point. Ah, uh, yes. Yes? We got to do the good old... You have to have the sauce. This is what makes the spaghetti great. It's a good old tomato sauce. Not any of that other crap. The pre spice the Prego. You don't get that. The, fra the Prego, yeah. yeah. The Rago. The Rago. Remember, good chef always tastes their ingredients before putting it in the... But chef, you forgot to taste your uh, noodles. Oh, you're right. Thanks for reminding me. Camera guy. Solid, solid noodles. You like those foot noodles? <laughs> and then you add the sauce to your spaghetti. And you let it finish cooking. And after. <laughs> <laughs> and then afterwards is when you serve it up. Okay, now so you give it a good pop. Hey, man. Next step, you gotta make sure you strain your ingredients. Make sure your strainer is empty out of all the food. You can, you can cut this part out. <laughs> now you gotta strain it all. <laughs> Thank you, Steph, Jason. Oh, wait, I gotta, I gotta try one of those. I'll try that. <laughs> I'll try that off camera. All right, now that we're freshly, now that, that we're all good and strained, now, now that we're all good and strained, we gotta, we gotta serve it up. And then we all bowl. Let's make sure we get everything up in there. Okay. And trust me, it gets better. It gets better when you do the garnishes. First, the good old marble garnish. Right on top, oh, first you gotta, you gotta taste it. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. And then you gotta add the. You gotta make sure you wash your hands in between. But then you gotta add Zeus F. Jason if you wanna add the other garnishes. Oh, okay. Oh, hold on. Zeus F. Jason's got my. Other, oh, you need to fully wash these. Right? <laughs> fully wash your hands. Don't ever half fast it. It's not good for the food. Or your ass. Or your ass. Thanks, cameraman Dallas, for telling me about you. But then, you know, then you gotta get the other garnishes and you layer it on top to make it look nice. You said, Jason. <laughs> Thank you, kind sir. It's right on top. And so, last. Thank you. Last but not least. The final. <laughs> uh, last but not least, the final ingredient, the secret ingredient. You always keep this stuff in the freezer. Good old Oregon spirit absinthe. Shit. That's, <laughs> that is pronounced Oregon? Or, 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 oregano. Oregano. Oregano spirit absinthe. This shit is delicious. Oh. And then you add it. Do the thing. Voila. And like magic, the secret ingredient does its job. Now, taste test. You're the meatball. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> That's why I wanted to pull it out. <laughs> How's it? Delicious. 
Okay, we're done. We're done. That's it? Yeah.